keep it farming with aim agriculture oh, my name is Anne uh, Ndunda you can call me a chicken queen I come from Makweni County, uh, that is, uh, which is in Mbokwe Kumene Ward in Makweni constituency. I usually keep uh, uh, chicken and fish. Uh, I keep uh, tilapia, not tilapia, I keep uh, mud fish, which we also call it uh, cuttlefish. It's the uh, 1,000 uh, in number. They are now uh, three months old. So within the next uh, two to three months, they'll be ready. Uh, this is not my, my main uh, business. I just started, uh, decided to keep the fish for nutrition. You find that your kamban is very, 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 very dry. I actually uh, pick uh, the fingerlings from uh, Machakos and also from Makindu, that is Kiboko. We have uh, farmers usually uh, breed them. Mm, I usually buy one fingerling at 10 shillings uh, when they are one month old. When I bring them here, actually the feeding is very simple. They shall take a very small quantity of feeds. They are not uh, heavy feeders. They don't need uh, any treatment. You just observe them. So uh, they don't need uh, vaccination. Keeping uh, fish is very, very, very cheap. In fact, I've only spent 60,000. That's for digging uh, the fish pond, buying the dump liner, the finger links and uh, the, 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 the water. So it's very, very cheap. You just need to have a very small uh, capital and then you are ready to go. Like around 60 to 70,000. You find that uh, Okamban is very hot. And people usually think that uh, cut, uh, fish, fish farming cannot be done in Okamban, which is not true. Because uh, you just need to have water. Water, water, water. Water is the only thing which you need so that you can sustain the, 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 the you can see the fish well. For me, uh, I chose to keep uh, catfish. The ones have, which you have just seen here, they are catfish, 1,000 in number. I chose them because they are hardy. You can give them uh, salty water, you can keep them with fresh water, and that's all. You find that with uh, tilapia, tilapia they usually need fresh, fresh, fresh water. And when you come it's very hard to get uh, fresh water. So that's why I chose uh, to keep uh, mudfish because they are very hardy. They can feed in, uh, they can see in what, hot, uh, uh, salty water and soft water. I keep chicken, which is the one you can see here. This is a uh, free range. I also keep uh, another bunch of layers, which are caged. Th these ones are two months old. Uh, Kenbro breed. And uh, they are now fully vaccinated. I usually uh, keep them in free range. Like now, I actually, I'm giving out them mains. In the morning, I gave them the feeds, feeds which are from uh, a company. That is a uh, fugo feeds. Yeah, they are 700 in number. My chicken farm has been a journey. I started with one, uh, 100. Actually, I started with the one chicken which I got from my mother. That's my grandmother. That was long, long time ago. That was 1995. And then when I come here, I came here, I started to keep poultry, whereby I started with uh, 100 ch chicks, whereby I grew them to maturity and then I sold them. The only challenge uh, which I usually get is a high cost of feed and water. Water, water is the main challenge here because chickens will take a lot of water. If you fail uh, to give them water, they will not grow well. It's better you fail to give them feed and then you give them water. They usually consume a uh, 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 tank of uh, 5,000 uh, liters in five days. That's why I'm saying that uh, they shall take a lot of water. I shall pick my chicks when they are one day hot. I brood them, I provide them with warmth, then I vaccinate them. I usually, there is a difference between vaccinating chicks and vaccinating well. I usually vaccinate them well so that I can avoid the outbreak of diseases. You find that uh, most of, of our farmers are, give, are giving up uh, in keeping poultry. Why? Because of the high mortality rate. But in my farm, actually I don't get any mortality because I usually uh, vaccinate them well. From the first uh, vaccine to the last vaccine, whereby I usually uh, inject them. 
the Newcastle vaccine. The, the only uh, uh, disease, all, um, what do you call it, outbreak is Newcastle. And Newcastle, if you treat and vaccinate your chicks well when they are young, you will not uh, get the, the, the Newcastle uh, 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 disease, whereby it clears all birds. If you have 1,000, they will be cleared all. But to me, I usually vaccinate them, the, the injection uh, Newcastle vaccine. That's why you can see them. So, ah, chicken farming is the best uh, business to do. Because when they get the chick chicks, when they are one day old, I usually release them to maturity and I sell them. I usually sell, uh, depending on the market price, I usually sell uh, one chick, like this one, I'm not selling it at 400 shillings. When they are mature, I'll sell them with, uh, at uh, 8 to 1,000 shillings. Whereby if you have uh, 100 chicks, you'll get around uh, 100 times 1,000, that's a lot of money. So it's, you, will, you will get a good business. If you, sell ch if you keep chicken, you'll get uh, good money. We usually f wake up very early in the morning, that's around 6.30. We start uh, feeding the chicks. We still have our small chicks here. We start feeding the small chicks. Uh, from the small chicks, we go uh, to the next uh, uh, bunch according to their age. From morning to around, uh, we usually take break breakfast at uh, 10. Yeah, and then from 10, we start uh, cleaning the houses. We have the, ca uh, the cage system. We start uh, removing the droppings and also cleaning uh, their feeders. Our day is usually busy from morning to evening. We usually, usually don't get uh, time to sit down, uh, do other things, but to uh, t just take care of our chicken, which are here. Uh, for those who are watching me, I tell you, this is the right business. If you keep working, you not go wrong. You'll always have money in your pocket. You not uh, start borrowing people, I don't have uh, one and shillings, I don't have 1,000. You'll always have a flow of money. And then you keep your poultry, uh, your chicks, in uh, different ranges. You find that every time when a customer needs a chicken, you, you always uh, have it. You'll not say that, I don't have, I don't have, I don't have. You'll, uh, you'll have a, a flow of your uh, uh, business. I'm a woman and I keep poultry. And I uh, usually have uh, four staff, or uh, two which are permanently employed here, they are women, and two who are cautious, they are uh, men. What can I say about uh, women? You find that uh, there before, women used to sit down to be provided by men. But nowadays, that's not the case. You can start with uh, 10 chicken, and then you raise them, you sell them, you pay another lot. You'll not uh, be saying that every morning, you tell your husband, oh, Give me 10 shillings, I go and buy uh, tea leaves. Give me 10, 20 shillings, I go and buy uh, um, milk. You'll always be having money. So my dear women, and uh, my dear women, please, let's keep poultry. Because you'll always uh, be having money in your pocket. When we want to go to our chamas, we women like uh, going to chamas. You'll always be having money. You can feed your, your family with a chicken. Whereby if a man com uh, comes with 10 shillings, you'll also come with 10 shillings. And then uh, your family will be rich. Uh, this is my uh, Leah's house. Whereby I usually keep a uh, kent uh, uh, Leah's. Yeah, as you can see. I have uh, Leah's. Which are the ones which are here, 3,000 Leah's. We have already collected the eggs. Uh, taking them to town. We have the ones which are remaining, uh, just few. Yeah. Uh, the cages are automated. The water is automated. They usually feed uh, from this trough. They usually take water from these. Uh, chickens are always attracted by anything which is bright. So they usually take water from here. Oh, anyone is not taking water. Once they leave, we collect eggs from here, as you can see. Yeah, we collect eggs from here. We usually collect uh, 85 to 86 trays per day. Uh, now when it comes to droppings, once the, the, the droppings comes uh, down here, as you can see, we have, uh, this is their mattress. Once they come here, after two days, we take them outside, whereby, to our, uh, whereby we usually keep uh, the manure. Yeah. The, the advantages of cage is that uh, you'll know the number of birds you have, accountability is there. You'll know the birds which are laying, the ones which are not laying. They will prevent a wastage of feeds. 
Yeah. And then the, the, the chicken will not mix the, 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 their droppings. Uh, yeah. Chicken farming is the best uh, business which I can advise uh, men and women to do, and most of women. If I'm doing this, if I'm keeping uh, 3,000 uh, chicken, every woman can keep this. The business is not uh, cost intensive. So I would like to tell my fellow women, so you come, we keep poultry. I'm there to advise you on what to do and how to keep the poultry and how to vaccinate them. And also for market, I'll link you with market. Whoever will not say that, oh, there's no market, there's no market. Women, come, we keep poultry, we get money. Actually, I usually face challenges. One, the biggest challenge is here, here is water. They usually take a lot of water. And it is also advice that it's better you feel to give them feed and then you give them water. They usually take a tank of 5,000 liters in uh, five days. So you find that, and I'm buying one booza, uh, one tank at 3,000 shillings. We find that it's a bit expensive. And also the feet. The feet are expensive. Uh, though we are still uh, going on well because we are also getting profit. Yeah. I usually keep uh, these uh, layers in uh, bunches, in a different edges. Like these ones, I'm supposed to sell them in June. That's the next month, June uh, 2023. The other bunch which you can see here, I will sell them in December uh, 2023. These ones, uh, I will sell them after one year. So there is, uh, the reason is to why I usually keep them in uh, bunches of uh, uh, different edges is that, so that I can have eggs throughout the year. Yeah. Uh, you can see, you have seen uh, where I am now. I have uh, 3,000 uh, layers which are, are now laying. I'm collecting 84 to 87 uh, trays per day. But guess what? My target is to have uh, 10,000 layers. As you have seen there, I have, still have cages which have no uh, chicks. So I'm still uh, thinking of expanding. Come uh, two years, I will now the, be the root of uh, this country. Yeah, I'm emulating the what uh, our uh, president is doing. Yeah. I'm now competing with him. I want to compete with him so that I can be number one. As we talk now, he's number one. I want to be number two and also go ahead to be number one. Yeah. Greetings, everybody. If you are new to our YouTube channel, please just subscribe and join the family. I'm happy so much and thank you so much for welcoming me to your farm, uh, Anne, or the Chicken Queen. Indeed, you're a Chicken Queen. What I've seen <laughs> this is just amazing. Guys, this is amazing. She's doing a perfect job. Although I'll not give you 100%. <laughs> and when you talk matters chicken, this is where I come in. Professionally and also passionately. This is my passion. I've seen you doing the free range. It's perfect. I've seen the cages. It's also perfect. You've put your chicken in tears so that at one point you don't miss out on having chicken. Yeah. However, you don't miss out on some flaws. They're just not so much, which I'm sure you can correct them and work on them. The very important thing that you need to check, I've seen you of drinking the, the, the pipes, uh, the water lines, and also the water containers have got something called algae, the green stuff that has started growing, which looks like the one that is growing in the pond. That one is not very advisable. You need to clean, as much as you're cleaning the, the water system and you're saying it's still growing, there's a way you can go about it. I want you to introduce something called an acidifier. Acidifier? Yes. An acidifier is, you'll mix it with water, then it alters the water pH. When the chicken drink that water, the pH is altered in the stomach. No microorganism that is not useful, that can, there is no microorganism that, or any uh, bacteria that can survive in that stomach. Because of those re changed, uh, changes in the pH, the pH is lowered. This way, you will somewhat be minimizing on use of antibiotics. It saves on your cost. You're also taking care of the consumer, who will also consume eggs that are antibiotic free. The same, will also not create a conducive environment for the growth of the algae. The algae cannot grow in uh, acidic conditions. So it's a win-win and you benefit more. You will find that an acidifier in the market is cheaper 
compared to an antibiotic. An acidifier is safe. When you eat, um, we eat some things like uh, ginger, they have some component of the same. When you drink some sodas, they have component of the same, but you, you know it's food. So an acidifier is like food. The other thing that I would like to advise you is management of manure, the droppings. I've seen you've aligned uh, bags on the empty bags or journeys on the floor where the dropping is dropping. It's also very good. However, I'll advise that first you need to buy a plastic paper. You spread first on the floor and then you take the nylons, sorry, the empty uh, bags and you spread there. Very important when you're feeding your chicken in the morning, don't assume that all the nipples are working. Always check nipple by nipple. It is something easy and doable as fast as you can. When I was in Mogadishu, you could realize because you are keeping volumes of chicken, about 430,000 birds, you could realize that some chicken in cages, like, just die. A set of like five chicken in a, in a, in a, in a, in a cube have, are all dead. When you check the birds, they have got no any physical illness. Just to realize that the nipple had blocked. So it's very important, especially in such an environment where the temperatures are very high. We need to check on that. I was happy when I came in the farm, but I was a bit annoyed or disappointed when we entered the flock house. Please, 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 as I leave, make sure that you build a foot bath. A foot bath is very important at the door or a vehicle dip at the gate. So that anybody coming from outside will leave all the bacteria there, all the viruses on the foot bath. I'm happy you're doing vaccination. And you said you're not just vaccinating, you are doing proper vaccination. Guys, this is where we go wrong. Don't just buy vaccines from any aggravate. The rules are a vaccine should be refrigerated. But some aggravates, they just behave funny. They have no mercy for the farmer. These guys, when they're closing the aggravates in the evening, they switch off the fridge. Then when they come in the morning, they switch on the fridge. So that is not a vaccine, that's a disease. So be very careful with where you buy your vaccine. Especially, you can see for Ann, such a magnitude of a project. This is a massive project. And therefore she's very cautious on any step she takes. Then Ann, why can't you think about uh, making your own feeds? Bana, mm, Yeah, it's very that I don't have the, 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 the schedule for how to make the feeds. Yes, yes. If I can get a good uh, feed formulation schedule, yes. I can do uh, my own feeds. The best thank you I'm going to give her, I'm going to take her through how to formulate her own quality feeds. Not just feeds, quality feeds. I appreciate it. I'll take you through making of chick mash, growers mash, and for layers. These days we have gone super. We have something called a pre-layer ration. A ration that stimulates or prepares the bird for laying. It has enough calcium, it has got enough carotenoids that will make the egg yolk yellow. It has got enough uh, calcium that will be stored in the medullary bones, so that in case of a, lax, uh, a reduction in, in calcium in the feed, the bird still can regenerate calcium and you have got the good sized eggs, smooth shelled, nice colored, and that's it. Thank you so much and thank you for hosting us. Keep it aim agriculture and you'll watch more and you'll learn more from our channel. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you too. I really appreciate it. I appreciate it. Be too. blessed. Be blessed too. Thank you. Thank you. Keep it farming with aim agriculture.